wait, off to visit the house again. So, just commuted from work, came down, I was recording, but I'm not going to use any of it. Um, very fairly, Jesse felt that I was not paying any attention to her, and I was talking too much to the camera, and that's very fair. So I stopped recording, and I'm not going to use it, and I'm not going to record our commutes together anymore. Which doesn't bother me, because everything I have to say I can do in a half commute. And it'll make editing easier. So, Jesse, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Again. I feel pretty fresh. Still, after yesterday, I spent 35 minutes on the turbo trainer. So today I'm not sore. I'm a little bit quick to sore, but I'm not sore. Feel pretty good. So I figure I'll just explore out here. This will be my new neighborhood soon. Especially now that my mortgage has cleared underwriting. So now everything is hunky dory. I'm gonna get the house as long as I don't, you know, open up credit lines. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Yep, that'll do it. Pine Creek was very empty today. It rained really, really hard from somewhere around like 12 to 2 or something. It's really humid, but it's cool. It's only something like 82, 83 on the trail. It's easily in the 70s. I'm wearing my sunscreen in my eyes, which hurts. So if I'm going slow, a great deal of that is probably because I can't see. Oh, I gotta wipe my eyes. Wearing lots of sunscreen because it's cool. But the sun is out and unabated. Been out here ready probably 40 minutes 40 minutes or so so I had a big old thing of energy gel almost out actually but that's cool because I had one of those big old big old packs
Well, that's annoying. Stoplight in the middle of the downhill. Who would do something like that? I really cannot see. This will be my ride to work in less than a month. My eyes burn. No me gusta. Ow. Sunscreen in the eyes. Well, it's worse than pocket sand. Not that I would know. Nobody has ever used the forbidden move pocket sand on me before. But I don't think it would be this bad. Here we go. Back into the cool. I should have a real-time Bluetooth 
thermometer that could give me lat long and temperature all in one GPX file. That would be cool. Because then I could tell you what it feels like and you could actually see the temperature. Let's see, how about we do Wacomas today? Let's see if I can get a PR. Last two times I did Wacomas, it was under duress. In the rain, tired, at night. If I give myself just a little bit of time to recover, then I might be able to do it even better than before. If I can see. Okay, I think that feels better. All right, now they somehow get on the road. Here we go. And we're off. Here is Wacomas. Very smooth, steady uphill of about 1% grade. Or something like, something about three miles. I'm not sure. Over or below. Or maybe that's round trip. I don't remember. I don't know. But it's not exciting, except for the traffic. And I do have a car back. The main thing about it is that it's steady and a climb for a while.
so the last two times I did this, they were about a year apart. And I got a PR both times because I tied down to the second with myself. So I just gotta do it again, but better. That part really sucks. too close. They did not give me enough room. was a small bit more uphill.
No. Come on. Oh, 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 everything hurts. Oh, my rib muscles hurt. My everything below the belt hurts. Oh, oh, that was, that had to be a PR. I don't know by how much. I'm not sure I can make it up this hill. I'm not sure I can make it up 64. Maybe for the first time ever. Oh. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna cut and I'll pick up back at the top of the hill. Bye. Well, I biked it. Didn't think I was gonna. Started walking. Got maybe 20 feet. Realized walking was not easier than biking, so I stopped, caught my breath, got my legs back, and then got back on the bike and crawled up that hill. And that's where you find me. Having crawled up the hill. And on my way back home. And I do think I'm gonna go home and then change and then go to work. I mentioned this before on the way down, but since I'm not including that in this video, um, I guess I could say I've been working on some programming at work and it takes a while to run. So even though work is over, I expect the last thing that ran to be done right about now. And I want to run another thing overnight 
So well, I'm gonna go back to work and start it and let it go. So then in the morning, it'll be done. Also, I have to fight a little battle over escaped uh, backslashes in Python in my sequel. Uh, and if you know anything about that, I'm sorry. I cannot see. I'm trying to turn a string that has a slash in it into a string that concatenates that string with other things, which means I need to escape it. And that string becomes a query. And that query goes into a MySQL function. So there needs to be an escape slash on that, which means that I need to add three additional slashes to my original two for an escape slash and one for escaping the first slash, all of which is very annoying. So yeah, I gotta figure that out too. Anyway, I'm back. Uh, hope you enjoyed this ride. From now on, commutes will be halfway, which is great. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you would. And I'll see you next time.